Hey, what's going on everybody? I know it's been a really long time since I put out a video like this, but GoPro just put out a new video, the seal belly rub, and I was kind of interested in going over like the color correcting that they did in the video. Now, what made me want to do that is because I was actually in the GoPro subreddit and um, somebody posted, um, you know, a side by side picture of this GoPro color corrected video and, you know, their cool edit that they did and the original video, which looks like this. And you could see the difference. Like, obviously, this is like washed out and so green. Like, you don't want to watch this. You want to watch something that looks like this. It's more realistic. We all know that GoPro is a, a really big company, so they have a budget. They could put out awesome video edits like this. But honestly, they have been behind the GoPro Studio editing software for a while now, and they probably edited this video with GoPro Studio. And anybody could download that software. So that's why I want to do this video. Like, you don't need like thousand dollar software to do cool color correcting like GoPro. You could just use GoPro Studio, which I have right here. It's free right from their website. And honestly, like it does an awesome job at color correcting. So that's what I want to go over today. Now, before we get started, I just want to go over a few of the challenges that we might run into today. The original video here is actually 720. There's no 1080 version available. The GoPro video that they released is a 1080 version. So what I'm gonna, what I'm guessing here is the original owner of the video gave GoPro the 1080 file, and they were able to, you know, put out a better quality video. And this is actually 1080 and not 720 up converted to 1080. All right, so let's get started. Right here we have the original video. Like I said before, it's really green, kind of washed out and looks dull. It's just not realistic. Um, now when we go to GoPro's shot, like how, like this looks so good. It looks so nice. It's not, it's, it's slightly washed out a bit, but it looks clear. It's not green. It looks like you're actually in the ocean and not in some murky swamp or something what I like to look at here is the seaweed at the bottom it has that nice brownish orange tint to it that's what I was trying to work on first when I was doing my um when I was doing my edit I got pretty close to what GoPro achieved you could see that so I got this uh mine is a little green but it's like a brownish green almost orangey tint but um, if we watch it, it looks kind of good, I guess. It's very close to what GoPro put out. And that's the second shot. So um, let me just play that again just so you can see that. So that's the first shot, and then this is the next one that they do. Here we go. They kind of do slow motion too, but I, I didn't do slow motion yet. So let's pause it on that face. And you can see mine. I might have to go another two, three frames. But, I mean, look at the bottom, the seaweed. That's This is the GoPro shot. The seaweed's like that brownish, almost orangey tint. And you can see the ocean. And the top left corner is kind of like, um, you know, the exposure is really high. And then if we look at mine, it's close. My exposure goes really far close to it goes too close to the uh, the sea line, so maybe I want to bring the exposure down a little bit, like that. Now, I did not start editing this one. This is the one I want to show. I want to show you how you can you know do the same kind of uh, color correcting that GoPro did. So I'm going to do a step by step starting now. Here we have GoPro Studio and I'm on the frame that I want to fix. Actually, it's going to do the whole clip that's down here, but this is the specific frame that I want to reference when looking at the original GoPro shot here. We want to make this look exactly like this. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the, the white balance here. We're going to bring the temperature uh, down a little bit and because the first thing I notice when I look at this is that it's not green. It's like a bluish, more of a bluish color. And this is just green. So let's bring the temperature down until we get to like a blue. Okay, so already that's looking closer to what that is. So now the next thing I want to do is look at the, the seaweed down at the bottom like we did, like I was showing you um, in the previous shot. Um, the seaweed is like that brownish almost like brown green in this shot a little 
orange, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see what we could do by bringing the tint down a little bit. Um, okay, so that's looking a little better. But also, when I look at this, it's kind of like starting like blue up here and slowly fades to green when it gets closer to the bottom of the um, bottom of the ocean. Check the tint again. Make it a little bit more green at the bottom. And let me just adjust this a little bit. Like that's too blue. That might be that might actually be it. Blue and fade to green. Um so now the next thing we want to do is mess with the image controls here. So we're gonna like slide the exposure, contrast, saturation, and sharpness uh back and forth until we see something that we like. Exposure is Let's see, the exposure is a little bit brighter on here. Like this is like really, really bright. And this is not. So let's bring the exposure up a little bit. Maybe, let's leave it like that for now. So that kind of matches that now. Now let's mess with the contrast. We probably want to bring the contrast up a little bit. Not too much. Maybe like that. That's looking pretty good. Maybe a little more. And now, the saturation, I don't think we want to bring the saturation up because that doesn't look good. We might have to bring it down a little bit. Or, actually, yeah, like I think around, I think around there looks good. And now the sharpness definitely has to come up a little bit to give it a little bit more detail. Just pay attention to the glove. It'll uh, look a little more sharper. So that looks pretty good. Now, we've got the image, but it still does not look exactly like this shot here. And remember, it's like this is a 1080 shot. They might have had the original file. I had to convert this and download it from keepvid.com, so it's only 720. This still looks washed out. Maybe the contrast needs to come up a little more, or maybe actually the uh, exposure too. Like that. Let's see what the contrast could do for us. Now let's just take a look and see how their shot looks compared to mine. Not bad. All right, let's check mine out. All right, here we go. All right, so we see more detail on theirs Hmm, that's really bright. Top of the head is really bright. Um, the glove looks clear. Mine's looking too dark. Too, the, the darks are too dark and the brights are too bright. It's too cr contrasty, I think. Maybe that's what it is. And I think we need to bring the exposure down a little. We're seeing more detail here now. More of a blue. Now we're seeing more detail on the seal, which is looking a little bit better now. Let's see how the original looked, the original frame we were working with. It was about right there, a little bit before, but actually that's not too bad. I don't know, I think I'm happy with it. I spent maybe, like I said, 10 minutes, and I was able to get that looking a lot better than it did before. So now when we look at a still of the GoPro and mine, we could see that the difference is mine is very contrasty, too high, um, and we could also see that mine is, a, you know, like really dark. Theirs is really bright, and the quality on theirs is a lot better, so the 1080 versus the 720 had a really big difference. I wasn't really trying to get it exactly like theirs, but it's just to show you the potential that GoPro Studio has and like how much better you can make your videos if you use GoPro Studio. If you have any questions, just let me know. I try to get back to everybody that has a comment or a question. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Chris, like